So let's say that we have a geometric series, and the first three terms are k plus 4, k, and 2k minus 15, where k is a positive constant. First of all, we need to show that k squared minus 7k minus 60 is equal to 0. Now, we must remember that when we've got a geometric series or sequence, then we can find the common ratio by dividing one term by the previous term. That is all the information that we have to go on for this. So we could say that the common ratio R is equal to K over K plus 4. But that is also the same as 2K minus 15 divided by K because the common ratio must be the same, hence the word common, right? Must be the same in every single term, for every single uh, step of the way. So the ratio of the second to the first term there and the third to the second term must be the same. So this gives us an equation that we can rearrange. Because if I multiply both sides by the k, we're going to get k squared. And then if I multiply both sides by the k plus 4, we can multiply the k plus 4 by the 2k minus 15, which will be 2k squared. We'll get an 8k. We'll get a minus 15k. And we'll get a minus 15 times 4, so minus 60. So we can then put everything onto the right-hand side of the equation to get k squared, 8k minus 15k is minus 7k, we got the minus 60. So that is the equation that we wanted to get to and arrive at. Hence show that k must be 12. Well, this is a quadratic equation that can be factorised. So 0 is equal to k minus 12 times k plus 5. So either k equals 12 or k equals minus 5. Okay. Now, k cannot be equal to minus 5 as k is a positive constant as identified in the question. So k must be 12. Part C, find the common ratio of this series. Well, we know that we could either use that or that. I'm going to use the first one. So R is equal to 12 over 12 plus 4. So 12 over 16, divide top and bottom by 4, we get 3 quarters. Now, you should get a precisely the same result by putting it into this one. So 2 lots of 12 is 24. Take away 15 is 9, so 9 over 12, dividing top and bottom by 3, we get down to the 3 quarters again. So it works in either. So that is the common ratio. So the sum to infinity uses the first term, a, which is, we know that um, k is 12, so the first term is 12 plus 4, so that's 16, over 1 take away, using the formula, r, so 3 quarters. So that's 16 over a quarter. And 16 divided by a quarter is 64. So 64 is the sum to infinity. OK, and so that is an exam style problem uh, that involves a few different techniques that really you need to have going into that exam.